they came by the hundreds to celebrate a life well lived. Friends, family and former colleagues of Ed Broadbent, a political giant known to so many as just Ed. Ed was uh, an extraordinarily important part of modern Canadian history. Broadbent led the NDP for 14 years. He's only the second opposition party leader after Jack Layton to be honoured with a state funeral. The political heir to both those men, NDP leader Jagmeet Singh, remembered how Broadbent welcomed him and how Singh always joked that when he grew up, he wanted to be Ed Broadbent. We will never forget him. And Ed, we won't let you down. And you're still who I want to be when I grow up. Manitoba Premier Wab Kanu says Broadbent pursued what he calls the politics of joy, seeking to bring people together rather than divide them. I hope for the sake of our country that more of our leaders speak to us Canadians the way Mr. Broadbent did, by appealing to our better angels. Ed Broadbent, I hope we will see you again. After stepping down as NDP leader, Broadbent campaigned for human rights at home and around the world. Those who worked alongside him remember a man at ease with everyone. Whether he was talking to factory workers in Bangkok, to indigenous leaders in Guatemala, to Fidel Castro, the Dalai Lama, or the receptionist, you felt important. Broadbent remembered as well for his love of music, his quick wit, and his taste for cigars. But above all, as a man dedicated to building a better Canada and a better world. Tom Perry, CBC News, Ottawa.